The Senate will come to order. Will the clerk please call the roll? Senators Baisley, Bridges, Buckner, Coleman, Cutter, Danielson, Exum, Fields, Gardner, Janal, Gonzalez, Hansen, Henriksen, Hakez Lewis, Kirkmeyer, Colker, Senator Colker. Liston, Senator Liston. Excused. Lundin, Marchman, Michelson Janay, Malika. Excused. Pelton B. Pelton R. Priola. Rich. Roberts. Rodriguez. Simpson. Smallwood. Senator Smallwood. Sullivan. Van Winkle. Senator Van Winkle. Will. Winter. Zenzinger. Senator Zenzinger. Mr. President. Here. The morning roll call is 33 present, zero absent, two excused. We do have a quorum. Senator Kirkmeyer, would you please lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance? Thank you, Mr. President. Would everyone please stand for the pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Approval of the journal, Senator Hendrickson. Thank you, Mr. President. I move that the Senate Journal of January 12, 2024, which is minimal as we did very little on Friday, be approved as corrected by the Secretary. You have heard the motion. All those in favor say aye. aye. No. Opposed, no? no? The ayes have it, and that motion is adopted. <laughs> Senate Services. January 16, 2024, correctly printed Senate Bills 24, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50, correctly enrolled Senate Joint Resolution 24-1 and Senate Resolution 24-1. Message from the House. Mr. President, the House has adopted and transmits herewith House Joint Resolution 24-1004 as printed in House Journal January 12, 2024. Introduction and consideration of resolutions. Thank you, Mr. President. I move uh, resol... Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Just one moment. This is the first one Senator. of the year. Will the clerk please read the title of House Joint Resolution 1003? House Joint Resolution 1003, Representatives Joseph and Bacon and Senators Coleman and Exum, concerning designation of the portion of United States Highway 36 in Boulder County from mile marker 32 to mile marker 37 as the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial Highway by the placement of signs in each direction of travel where the designated portion of the highway begins. <clears throat> Will the clerk please add Senator Liston to the roll? Senator Coleman. 
Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I move resolution 1003. Is there any discussion? Senator Colbert. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, members, thank you so much for, for standing. Uh, please feel free to take your seats. Um, we have a resolution today in conjunction with uh, the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. holiday that was just celebrated uh, on Monday. And in part, um, this is not the resolution for the holiday. That comes next. This is uh, a resolution um, requested by our colleague in the House, uh, Representative Junie Joseph, who represents Boulder, who said that uh, in many of our communities across the country, as well as here in Colorado, uh, we have areas designated to remind us of the leaders and the individuals who've come before us and paved the way. And so in short order, uh, this is a resolution that ultimately would uh, allow a portion of the highway uh, in her district in Boulder uh, to be named after the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And so it's something that uh, we've done in many other cases. Even in our dis my district, we have the Tuskegee uh, Airmen Memorial Highway flyover uh, between Aurora and Denver. Um, and it's just one of those things that, again, we recognize the heritage that we have here. Um, the last thing I'll say just really quickly, many of you may or may not know this, but the portrait that's on the first floor uh, by the elevators of Dr. King was the last portrait of Dr. King before he was assassinated. It was actually done here in Colorado at the Sheridan Hotel. And so we have a lot of history here in Colorado that a lot of folks aren't aware of, even in our own building. And so we're excited about the opportunity to name a portion of the highway in Boulder after Reverend, the great Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. Senator Exxon. Thank you, Mr. President. If Dr. King was still alive today, he would be 90, 95 years old. He died at a tender age of 39, 56 years ago. 56 years ago today, we gathered to honor his legacy and his tireless dedication to equality and justice. His life and death served as a beacon for all of us. We must not forget the dream because we are the dream people of all creed, race, ethnicity, ability, living together in harmony. This highway designation serves as a reminder of, us, of how far we have come as a community, an opportunity to educate one another on the importance of working together for, the better, for a better future. For not just some, but for all of the community. I hope you will support this designation in honor of Dr. King. And I want to thank the NAACP Boulder County in their tireless efforts to educate and their endorsement of this effort. Archiving the past is for our children so that they not, do not never forget the injustices of the past and the path to oppression but so that they also have good examples of the full range of our humanity. Thank you, Mr. President. The motion is the adoption of House Joint Resolution 1003. Are there any no votes? With a vote of 34 ayes, zero no, zero absent, one excuse, House Joint Resolution 1003 is adopted. Co-sponsors. Senator Colbert. Thank you, Mr. President. I request the current roll call be added as co-sponsors. Seeing no objection, the current roll call will be added as co-sponsors. Will the clerk please read the title to House Joint Resolution 1004. House Joint Resolution 1004 by Representatives Bacon and Ricks and Senators Buckner and Fields concerning the commemoration of the birthday of the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. Senator Buckner. Thank you, Mr. President. I move Resolution 1004. Is there any discussion? Senator Buckner. Thank you. This motion is the adoption of Resolution 1004, and I would like to say that this resolution passed out of the House unanimously. And last Friday, we had a wonderful celebration of Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King. And most of us celebrated all weekend, and some of us even marched in the snow and the ice on Monday. But it was such an amazing, amazing support for all of us who love Martin Luther King and what he did for our country, our nation, and basically the world. So I'm hoping that all of you still have fond memories 
of the comments that were made last Friday and over the weekend, and that you will be in support of this resolution as well. Further discussion? Seeing none, the motion is the adoption of House Joint Resolution 1004. Are there any no votes? With a vote of 34 ayes, zero noes, zero absent, one excuse, House Joint Resolution 1004 is adopted. Co-sponsors, Senator Buckner. Thank you, Mr. President. I am requesting that the current roll call be added as co-sponsors. See no objection, the current roll call would be added as co-sponsors. Thank you, members. Introduction of resolutions. Senate Joint <clears throat> Resolution 3 by Senators Gonzalez and Winter and Representatives Furlick and Garcia concerning the designation of January 22nd as Roe v. Wade Anniversary Day. Majority Leader Rodriguez. Thank you, Mr. President. I move that SJR 003 lay over until Thursday, January 18th, 2024. The motion is to lay over Senate Joint Resolution 3 to Thursday, January 18th. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. The ayes have it. Senate Joint Resolution 3 will lay over until Thursday, January 18th. <laughs> Announcements. <laughs> Senator Michael Sinchenay. Thank you, Mr. President. I've been given permission to be excused February 28th through March 1st. Thank you. Senator Michael Sinjane will be excused for those dates. Senator Zenzinger. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, members, upon adjournment, the Joint Education Committees are meeting today for their SMART Act hearing, uh, and the Joint Budget Committee will be presenting. So education members, please don't forget to bring your uh, budget, staff budget briefing summaries with the purple stripe. Upon adjournment of education, there is also an environment and energy um, uh, Smart Act hearing that will be uh, in the Supreme Court chambers. The education one will be in the library. So uh, two back to back, uh, we're trying to make up for yesterday. So uh, don't forget your books. Senator Exum. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, the Smart Act hearings for uh, local government and housing because of the snow day yesterday has been moved to Tuesday uh, the 23rd and it'll be in, uh, in the afternoon at 1.30. Thank you. Senator Buckner. Thank you, Mr. President. I have two announcements. First, SMART Act hearings for education will be held at 10.30 today in the old Supreme Court. SMART Act hearings for education will be in the old State Library at 1030. My next announcement, oh, my next announcement is, Senator Buckner. Did I mess up? No. Okay. <laughs> I would like to make this announcement because we have some special members here in the chamber with us today. Case. Colorado Association of School Executives is the member organization representing more than 3,600 school and district leaders from nearly every one of Colorado's 178 school districts. Its members include superintendents, principals, and assistant principals, CFOs, human resource officers and administrators, technology leaders, special education directors, and so many more. CASE's members come from districts as small as rural, as Deer, as Deer Trail School District, 
to as large and urban as Jefferson County Public Schools. Their membership is diverse, and what every case member shares is the drive and passion for supporting students and providing an outstanding public ed education. Members, please check your emails and text messages. If you have a constituent from a school district in attendance of the case day at the Capitol today, they have sent you an invite to join them for lunch at the Knights of Columbus, 1555 North Grant Street. The school leaders would love the opportunity to talk to their legislators about the successes and challenges their districts are facing. And if we have any case members in the chamber with us today, please stand. And they're up in the balcony. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for all of your hard work. Senator Winter. Thank you, Mr. President. Upon adjournment of both the House and the Senate, uh, the Joint C Transportation and Energy Committee will be meeting with the House Energy and Environmental Committee for our Smart Act hearing in the old Supreme Court. Senator Janal. Thank you, Mr. President. And um, all of us today are a day older than we were yesterday. We are kind of getting older each day. And uh, it's a very good sign. Senator Janal, it's better than the opposite. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. So what I want to do is invite all of you, all of us as a legisl legislators, to the first legislative caucus on aging. It happens to all of us. It happens once a month here at the Capitol. And uh, it's breakfast at 7.30, program from 8 to 8.45. And um, it's in uh, the Senate Committee Room 354. This first Legislative Caucus on Aging meeting is going to include information from Colorado's area agencies on aging, and it will include invited legislators that are presenting their bills that impact services for older Coloradans and their caregivers. Um, Please try to attend because I think these bills affect all of us, whether you're young or whether you're more mature. So tomorrow, 7.30, uh, room 354. Thanks. Senator Pelt. <laughs> Thank you, Pelton's. Mr. President. Um, again, members, Friday, junior livestock sale. We're doing the best we can to outraise the house. Uh, I remember I mean, we got up here and reminded you last week we're doing everything I can to make sure to raise as much money as possible. Here, give me here. Right. here we go. There we go. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. And, <laughs> and the other thing is, is we're, we're very excited to do this because kids out there are working their tails off right now to show the best animal they can. So. Thank you for giving. Thank you for continuing. We want to beat the house and, uh, and keep giving up until Friday. We will like, take money until uh, up to Friday. And um, thank you very much. And again, the invitation is tomorrow still. If you want to come out, there's going to be some kids from Logan County um, showing their animals. If you want to come out and see what they do, that would be great. And uh, I would love to introduce you to them. So thank you. Senator Simpson. Thank you, Mr. President. Just a reminder that the auction is this Friday at 5 o'clock at the Stock Show. I encourage you to be there, participate. Um, there is an opportunity then to get your picture with uh, uh, the animals that we purchase, and it won't include a certain senator from Northeast Colorado who's in like every one of them for the last 16 years. <laughs> senator Pelton. Thank you. Mr. President, first, uh, I'd like to announce tomorrow morning, or no, next Tuesday. We missed it yesterday because we weren't here. Next Tuesday, prayer breakfast down in the basement. Sorry about that. Senator Pelton. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, you fellow senators, as you can tell, there are some lovely ladies over on the wall over there. They are uh, rodeo queens from all over. Uh, we have 
Miss Rodeo Colorado, Miss Rodeo America, Miss Rodeo Canada, and along with her came uh, Miss Rodeo Wainwright from Canada. Then we have uh, Miss Oregon, Miss Rodeo New Mexico, Miss Rodeo Nebraska, Miss Rodeo Wyoming, Miss Rodeo Michigan, Miss Rodeo North Dakota. And if I missed anyone, I am sorry. But they, they're here because of the stock show, the great program that these ladies participate in. So. Minister. Oh no. <laughs> Senator Will. Thank you, Mr. President. And to follow up with the comments of our, the great Senator Pelton, uh, as I was walking in today, I was following the Queens in, and of course had my hat on, and I was mistaken for one of them. <laughs> so, uh, but but uh, one of the great things we got to visit with them this morning, and uh, what a what a great bunch of young ladies. And you know we have people that are in education psychology, nurses, first responders, uh, ag production, communication, all of that. So what a, what a great, great, great group of young ladies from across the, the states and from uh, Colorado here in, in, uh, in America. So uh, we couldn't be happier to have them here with us today. Thank you, Mr. President. Further announcements? Senator Buckner. Thank you, Mr. President. I made a mistake, and I'm going to own up to it. Um, Education Smart Act hearings will begin upon adjournment. We might have to wait a few minutes for the House. They're on thirds right now. So as soon as they finish, we will be going into the Smart Act hearings in the old State Library. Thank you. Senator Buckner, thank you for owning up to your mistake. However, you did make one additional mistake. And because you're my favorite senator, I know you're going to take this. Yes, she is. I'll stand by that. Uh, I, I will use you as an example because I know you're going to be a good sport. Yes, Members, I remind yourselves of the rules. We can introduce notables and guests here in the, in the chamber, but not in the gallery. Oh my goodness. So there are clever ways to get around it. If it is a special day, you can announce the day and mention members are going to be here in the building, take a moment to greet them, but we will not be introducing members or uh, guests that are in the gallery. So, Senator Buckner, you will be fined $5,000. Thank you. But I will pay it over time. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that so much. And this was a learning moment for all of us. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Majority Leader. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, on that, I will be breaking out to committees. Many of you know it is snow day, so we'll be catching up on calendaring. The departments or the committees will be rescheduling all those meetings. Um, colleagues, we are going to be adjourning or recessing until later this afternoon. We'll be reading some bills across the desk, so you don't need to come back. Uh, I move that the Senate recess until 11 a.m. You have heard the motion. All those in favor say aye. Opposed, no. The ayes have it. The Senate will recess until 11 a.m. today.